Thank you for being here this morning. Yesterday morning, uh, the Republican Senate Caucus laid out an agenda for the 2012 legislative session. And one of the major items we talked about was constitutionally limited government. And while the state has, based on our Constitution, balanced our budget year after year after year after year, the federal government has not done so. And, and it has really become, brought us to a point of, of an economic tragedy that is, that is unfolding right before our very eyes. Uh, over $15 trillion in debt is not something that we should be leaving to the next generation. Um, the Founding Fathers put forth in place a pathway for us to solve this from the people and from the states. Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution gives us an avenue for amending the U.S. Constitution through state action. Uh, today we'd like to announce that, uh, led by uh, both Senator Bill Cowser and Representative Andy Welch, and they're here to, to discuss it. Uh, we are proposing an amendment convention for the specific purpose of an amendment to the U.S. Constitution that would require the federal government to balance their budget. This is not a new idea. In fact, Thomas Jefferson in 1798 called for an amendment to restrict the federal government from borrowing money. Um, this pathway of using state action to accomplish this is also not new. In fact, we have handed out a letter from none other than President Ronald Reagan on March the 16th in 1987 when he wrote to a member of the Wyoming legislature, or the correction, the Montana legislature, asking them and supporting this idea of an Article 5 uh, uh, amendment convention for the purpose of a balanced budget. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Senator Kowser. Our federal budget this year is $3.63 trillion, but our federal revenues, our tax revenues, are only $2.23 trillion. The difference, $1.3 trillion, is being financed through debt. That is a huge percentage of our federal budget that we are borrowing the money to cover. Our total national debt right now is in excess of $15 trillion. And we've just learned that President Obama is going to be asking next week to increase it another $1.2 trillion in order to continue this level of spending. This level of spending is unsustainable. To give you an idea of the scope of this problem, our total U.S. debt now exceeds the United States gross domestic product. Our debt per taxpayer is now $138,000 per taxpayer. So as these new children grow into adulthood and become taxpayers, they are saddled with that much debt from the very beginning. Now, Georgia, along with 48 other states, all of the states other than Vermont, have balanced budget provisions in their constitutions. We are required to balance our budget, to live within our means. And this requires tough, hard decisions every year, especially here recently in these tough economic times. But we've done it. We've rolled up our sleeves. We've spent no more than we generate in tax revenue because that's the fiscally responsible way to run your government. Just like households must operate within the budget, you can't continue to spend more money than you make. It's time for the United States government to get its financial house in order. So we've proposed Senate Resolution 673 and House Resolution 1187 that call for an amendment to the United States Constitution that requires, other than in cases of national emergency, Federal spending shall not exceed federal revenues. Eighteen other states have already passed resolutions calling for a balanced budget amendment. It takes two-thirds of the states, 34 total states, to call for this to force Congress to act to impose an amendment on the United States Constitution that requires a balanced budget. It's time. It is necessary for us as a country so that our future generations can enjoy the American dream of prosperity and freedom that all of us have enjoyed for these many, many years. Now, I'm pleased that the House and the Senate have identical versions of a balanced budget amendment for that specific limited purpose, just to amend our Constitution only to, to put in a balanced budget amendment. And I welcome my colleague, Representative Andy Welch from the House, who has an identical resolution there, and turn the podium over to you. Let me begin by saying that our founding fathers in drafting the Constitution set forth the purpose of the Constitution in terms of its, uh, what we ordained the Constitution to do is to secure the blessings of liberty 
to ourselves and our posterity. All too often, we know that our liberty is in jeopardy, uh, both from domestic threats and foreign threats. And we can't anticipate where those threats may come from uh, and what they may be. But we can anticipate that the threat to liberty for our future generations is known to us today in the form of the current debt crisis that we face. We think it is imperative as a state to engage in the constitutional process to amend our Constitution to call for that balanced budget amendment. And in doing so, our intention is to secure that liberty for future generations. It's an honor to be uh, working with Senator Kalsert, Senate leadership, House leadership on uh, this particular resolution. And we look forward to a public debate that's robust on this issue and increasing public awareness on it. Thank you.